Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this right here is coffee beans. Of course, when they turn red, that's when they're ripe. But you have coffee beans right here. You have chili growing down here. This is a very beautiful area. Undiscovered. And it's pretty much undiscovered. Over on the other side is avocados, bananas. What else did we see? Cassava leaf. Yeah, banana, cassava leaf. And we've got these ones. I don't know how you call it in English. Uh huh. In, in French, they call it crocus. It's a root vegetable. If you open there, they cut, they are like round, like potatoes. Okay. But they taste better than potatoes. Some people prefer this over potato. And over here is three avocado trees. So I mean, they have all kind of fruits know, and vegetables. Think, four. Oh, it's four, yeah. four avocado trees over here. And as you can see, there's banana trees back there. So this is what about a hectare of land or how big is this? Do you have an idea? Or is it like a half a hectare? One hectare. Okay. Not fully a hectare, but close to. Okay, so this is almost a hectare of land and it's for tourism. So if you want to invest in some land, that is marked for tourism where you can build like say for example a hotel a bed and breakfast something like that you can purchase this land for seven thousand is it seven thousand or seven thousand five hundred seven thousand five hundred okay but mention to them that soon it's gonna short higher because the road from kigali uh -huh. it's gonna be very soon. Right now it's on a dirt road, but she said they're going to build a. In July. in July, they're supposed to blacktop the street. So, therefore, this property is going to go up automatically at least $5,000 as soon as they blacktop it. So, if you, want, if you want a piece of land in Rhonda, especially if you want to do something in the tourism sector, contact me, Ty Nichols, at Africa Investment Guide. Dot com. Also, you can see here is corn. I mean, they're growing so many different types of food down here. Permaculture, I think they, that's what they're practicing on this side. Okay. They're practicing permaculture. You can see there's a lot of crops, different crops around. Oh, okay. It's very beautiful, peaceful, quiet. And also very scenic. And you have to be careful walking down the hill. Because <laughs> I'm trying to walk and video at the same time. To give you a good idea of what this area looks like. Watch out for this. Are you sure you want to sell it to someone else or you want to buy it? Because it's such a beautiful place. I like this one. Which one? Maybe it's the green. Oh, yeah. Some are use it as a tourist. Oh, there goes somebody in a canoe over on the other side. I don't know if you can see it on the video. Now, here's another view of the lake. So this is prime lakefront property. I can say it's almost a hectare, which is about two acres. And once again, the asking price is $7,000. And it's 
marked for tourism, which means you can build like a hotel, a bed and breakfast, Airbnb, which is basically a bed and breakfast. But uh, anything, anyway, anything dealing with tourism, you can build over here. And you're right here on the lake. And for the amount of land, it's very inexpensive. And if you thought about coming to uh, Rhonda and owning some farmland, this would be a good location because you can build something for tourism and at the same time, use part of it for continuing to let the uh, avocados and chili peppers and everything else grow. But if you're interested, once again, contact me, Ty Nichols at africainvestmentguide.com. Thank you. Thank you.